Congratulations on completing your first assignment, um, creating the flags of Costa Rica, Russia, Germany, those flags. Now, here's your second assignment in Photoshop. You're going to create a couple other flags. So you can see we have Bahamas, Bahrain, Czech Republic, Sicily, Great Britain, Jamaica, Trinidad. And for this lesson, I'm going to teach you another tool in Photoshop in order to create these flags. And the skill that I show you here, you can adapt to create the rest of these flags. So you can see Bahamas looks like this. We'll do this one together, and then I'll leave it for you to do the rest. We know how to create this back part. This solid blue, these two blue lines, this yellow, we know how to create that. We can use the rectangular marquee tool to create that. The only problem is we haven't learned how to create this polygon shape, this triangle, right? So that's what I'm going to show you in this lesson. So the first thing we're going to create is the Bahamas. So this is the same document. I have my first two that I showed you in the previous video. And I created Russia. I didn't finish that. I'm going to delete that. But I'm going to continue from here. You should have all of your flags from the previous lesson in this same document. But let's work on the Bahamas. So I'm going to click on New Layer here. I'm going to rename my layer. Bahamas. I'm going to turn off my other layers previous. So you should turn off all your other layers. And I'm going to work with the Bahamas. So let's take a peek again. The Bahamas looks like this. It's like a teal on top and bottom that's a little bit thicker and a small yellow line in the middle. So back in Photoshop, use my marquee tool. I know how to do this part of it very well. I'm going to drag all the way across, kind of like that. That yellow is already there because I used it before. Let's just change it up just because. Let's make it like that, that yellow. Then I'm going to use my paint bucket tool right here. Fill it in. It's, let's see, it looks a little bit more orangey. So let's change that actually. Let's change it to like that. So. Now, I have my yellow. I need these two to be teal. Because these are solid areas, I don't need to use the marquee tool. I could if I wanted to and do this. But it's really no point. I'll show you. It's a teal area. Kind of like that. So I like mine. And this is using only web colors. We haven't talked about this before, but if I turn this off, then I can kind of get a more precise color of what I want. I want mine kind of like that. So again, in my area selected, just to show you, and I can click that area. I don't need it selected, so I'm just going to click there. I didn't need to select the bottom because it's a solid area. I can simply use my paint bucket tool. So I have that part of it. Looking at the Bahamas, I might need to do it a little bit more darker. And I can do that simply by coming back on my teal. I like that. And because the paint bucket tool fills in solid areas, I simply click over it like that. You can see it filled that solid area, which was all of one color. Now, I got to figure out how to do the little black triangle. And again, here it is, the Bahamas, right? So to do that, introduce you to another tool. It's called the lasso tool. Lasso tool is right underneath the rectangular marquee tool. And if I mouse over it, you can see lasso. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool. And you can see that little triangle in the area means it has a bunch of different lasso tools you can use. I'm just going to use the first one. It would be really hard for me to get a straight edge going like this. And then I could fill it in. And this have black in the background. Remember, you can switch the foreground and background color by doing that. If I try to fill it in, it's not going to look good, right? Another thing in Photoshop, when you mess up, you can go edit, step backwards. I'll do that three times. So I don't want to use the regular lasso tool because it's very hard to get a straight line. So let's look at our other options that we have. 
If I click and hold on the lasso tool, I have a polygon lasso tool and I have a magnetic lasso tool. The magnetic lasso tool you'll use later on. Um, we're, in this instance, we're going to use the polygon lasso tool. And the polygon lasso tool allows you to create polygons. Well, guess what? A triangle is a polygon. So click on the polygon lasso tool. Let's see how it works. You simply click in the areas that you want. You simply click one, then you click a second area, and it's going to drag a line automatically for you. So to create my triangle, I'm going to come to the very top. I'm going to click here. You can see as I drag, it just has this straight line for me wherever I want to drag. And it doesn't stop until I click. So I want to click here for my triangle. Then you can see I can drag this anywhere as well. You can create any type of polygon, and it just does a straight line through. I click here and come back to the top. Now I want you to notice something. When you come back to the top, you can see my polygon lasso tool is there. It does not have anything next to it. But as I get closer to the end, you can see now there's a circle there. That circle there means to complete this selection. So when I click once, you can see it's now selected. I now have a very straight edge. And now I can use my fill tool. Remember it fills in only solid areas so that's why I have to click three times and it fills in my area. If I want to deselect I can simply click and deselect and there you have it. We have the Bahamas. So again the skills that I taught you for this set of flags to create the Bahamas you're going to need the polygon lasso tool to create barring. Let's just look at it. Flags.net click on B and you can see this is Bahrain. You can see there's a solid area of white, a solid area of red. You're going to need the polygon lasso tool to create these edges. The same thing goes for Czech Republic, Sicily, Grain, Beer, and Jamaica, Trinidad. So to hone your skills, again, you're going to come back into Photoshop. The next one is Bahrain. Create your new layer, call it Bahrain. You're going to turn off your Bahamas, and then you're going to use your polygon lasso tool to try to create that zigzag area. Try to be as precise as possible. So you can see here, Bahrain has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You want to match that to make it as close as possible. So with that, good luck, and you can complete the rest of your part two of getting used to Photoshop.